good morning everybody. Welcome to Lewis in East Sussex. About to have a full day in the town, going to all the historic points, which I have been to before, but a few years back. I'm staying in this amazing, amazing little apartment, the Perfect Location Studio, which I got off booking.com. Absolutely fantastic. Really small, really cute. I mean, look, great. Love it. Tiny little bathroom there. It's just perfect, absolutely perfect. When you go upstairs, just a lovely little room, little bedroom. Isn't that fab? So yeah, really enjoying it here. Thank you, Rod, uh, for uh, accommodating me, fantastic. So yeah, um, I'll come down actually. As we go into uh, Lewis for a walk around the town, Hopefully Anne of Cleese House, uh, Lewis Priory, Lewis Castle, a couple of the churches, full on day. And we've got lunch booked at the Rights of Man pub, which is obviously a famous book by Thomas Paine, Lewis's famous resident, Thomas Paine, who contributed to the uh, War of Independence, would you say, uh, with his pamphlets. But yeah, are you ready? It's a very sunny day. It's a bit fresh, but um, it'll warm up. I mean, it's 20 degrees about four or five days ago. Now it's gone back down to 12. Um, but hey, it's good. So let's go. Journey around Lewis. Just walking through Southover Gardens. We last walked through here about 2010. Lovely, fantastic old world. Look at this. Isn't that great? Very peaceful part of the uh, town to walk through. So are the gardens. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, noise going on. The Knot Garden was opened by Lady Baker on the 19th of June 2004. Noise, of course. Of course in this tranquil setting. I think they're working on the garden, so it sort of makes up for it. No, I don't think they are. Oh, this is nice. Here we have the famous Keir Street, although recorded in history that George IV, when Prince Regent, drove in a coach and four down Keir Street for a wager. But now access to vehicles is prohibited by Older Lewis District Council. Okay, let's have the ascent up Keir Street. A little bit steeper than Mermaid Street in Rye, 
which we were at this time last year. It seems a very historic uh, road there. This Keir Street. Built around 1430. So we're in Lewis Town Centre. We're going to have a little walk along the High Street and have a look at some of the historic properties. Let's go. I do love Twittons, old alleyways in Sussex, they're called Twittons. We started at the parish of St Anne, which is Norman in origin, grade one listed, and the oldest church in Lewis, apparently. Yeah, flint walls, stone walls. All this lovely building next to you. A lot of offices, but the South Downs is in the distance, which so makes up for it. A very um, busy. Uh, churchyard with graves, very busy, almost like on top of each other. And there's the church tower. That's warming up nicely now. Still a bit windy, but the uh, mic on this uh, GoPro is very good on the media mod. If it's open. And it's open. Put some lights on. Like a lot of these churches, probably layers built upon the built upon, but this is going back to Norman times originally. Very big chancel. Ah, oh, this is interesting. An anchoress cell. The vestry of this church, originally called St Mary, uh, requires the site of a, of a recluse's cell. So anchorites were people who had them blocked up in little hole, little sort of stone holes like this, uh, away from the sins of the world, and devote themselves totally to God. Like the famous one at uh, Shear Church, which we've done before. But there's a little anchorist cell, isn't that amazing? I mean, it's an absolute extreme devotion to the good lord which seems balmy in today's um, society but um people were very religious back then a little anchorish cell yeah a, it's a woman who felt the call to live an enclosed life all up alone so that she could direct her entire energy to the love of god always important Memorials to the people lost in the Great War and World War II. Yeah, I think it's just the old part of the church by the looks of it. So this is a little quick pop in St Anne's Church. We're going to head down the road and look at more uh, historic properties. Let's go. Make sure I turn off the lights. Where you were when the blinds pulled down. You love it when nobody's around. I want to call out my town, but 
Don't you bite my lip, don't make a sound I'll be down if I'm leaving without you Yours, I'll take what's left I'm used to coming out Second best Always feel the past the times I'll be damned If I'm leaving without you Love it. 15th century bookshop 15th century bookshop Fantastic Gate Chapel, Congregation of Westgate Chapel, originated in 1662 and first assembled here for public worship in 1700. So this is the famous Ball House, circa 1450. And from my very American viewers, Thomas Paine lived here for a while. One of Lewis's famous residents, Thomas Paine, who wrote many leaflets and books which uh, contributed to the War of Independence and the drafting of the uh, Declaration of Independence. Lovely old door. Thomas Paine, author of Common Sense, Rights of Man, the pub we're going to, and The Age of Reason, a founder of American independence with pen and sword. Lived at this house uh, 1768 to 1774, an excise man and tobacconist. The Westgate Chapel, lovely old door again. Unfortunately, it's not open today, so um, sorry, Thomas Payne. Look inside St Michael's Church. There's the lights anywhere. Oh, here we go. I don't know much about this church, unfortunately, but I know that's an old font, very old font. And look at these uh, brasses. It says removed from the nave at the restoration of the church in 1878. Wow. The only drawback for Lewis, I'm sure the residents and people who live around here know, is the constant traffic. Constant traffic. It's a through road. You can go round the town, of course, but. Check out those organ pipes, and they're amazing. Memorial to Nicholas Pelham. We've got Pelham House around the corner. Nicholas Pelham, 1559, I think it says, age 44 years. It's no age, is it, these days? Just got a bit of a whoosh. Just going to go back. Oh, 
I've said before, I could be on an energy current. I'm not talking ghosts and spirits and that kind of thing. I'm talking about energy currents, which it could be. You've just seen there's been a, a church here for 800 years. 800 years. Okay, thank you, St. Michael's. I'm going to press on down the high street. Absolutely amazing. really quiet here for a uh, Wednesday apart from the traffic but not many people are about so plead for everyone singing grace and peace to you mirrored fangs and helpless youth we were once a righteous few look deep and spit the truth what have we become In the gospel is the building that imprisoned 10 of the 17 Protestant martyrs who were burned at the stake 1555 to 1557. Well I think it's time for lunch in the rights of man which I think I have been in there before yes we have been in there before back in 2010 I think it was so uh yeah let's do it always working against you but you've got confidence it's the taste on my tongue it's the tang in my mouth double down on the cause little room for the doubt it's the body of bread it's the blood and the wine once a righteous few Look deep and spit the truth What have we become? Okay, there's not enough Twittons in uh, Lewis. I need more Twittons. But that was a very nice lunch in the uh, Rights of Man pub. Really great staff, fantastic. I had a steak, really nice. And um, what I'm going to do, oh, there's Lewis Castle, just there. I'm going to uh, take it back to my lodgings, which um, I had a lovely walk up. It's only 0 0.9 miles, not much. And uh, take it with me. Go to the River Ouse. So let's do that. Okay, Church Twitton. I have found a Twitton. Which is great. I love that word, Twitton. I think it's, it's exclusive to Sussex, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It's a lovely old little pathway. I only discovered what Twittons were when Richard Vobes did them on his videos. I didn't know about them before because I'm a Surrey lad. Mini door. Oh wow, this goes right down here. So this is um an old Twitton. I think they go back to Norman times.
Okay. Friars Walk. And we're coming to this church, All Saints. Okay, don't know anything about this church whatsoever. It's locked anyway, so... Um... Well, this didn't flag up when I was researching the place. And look at these lovely old buildings here. I really didn't know this was here. Um, oh, okay. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Homeless people in a churchyard. That's a new one for me. Okay. Is it still used for worship? Um, this is new. Look inside. As I say, I don't know much about this church, so uh, just want to explore the old Twitten and then we'll take it from there. Let's head back to uh, my lodgings and I'll show you the route. Lewis Little Theatre, my friends do some uh, plays there. Yeah. St. John's Sub Castro. Ancient church. Yeah, this uh, 1840, this was consecrated, replacing the medieval church. It is open. No, of course it's not open. Well, we've been pretty lucky with uh, churches being open, so that's not too much of a problem. Okay, it wasn't open, but hey, what can you do? Let's head back to the lodgings.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Lewis High Street, all those historical properties, plenty of videos to come, and a Cleves House, Lewis Priory, Priory of St Pancras, and Lewis Castle. Still got a couple of videos to do on the way back, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. I quick want to show you where I'm staying. This is my new apartment, which is wonderful. There's my car. Um, before we depart, let me quickly show you where we are. We are staying here. Isn't that incredible? So see you on the next video. Take care.